I'm Brad Harrington. I'm the Executive Director of the Boston College Center for Work and Family, and I'd like to talk about the uh, 2011 study we did called the New Dad Caring, Committed, and Conflicted. This study was done in conjunction with four partner companies from f the Fortune 500, and we looked at the experiences of a thousand working fathers within those organizations. One of the things we look at is how they shared caring responsibilities with their, with their spouse, and it was interesting to note some, some clear differences. One of the things we found is the vast majority of the fathers um, took very little time off when their most recent child was born. In fact, when we asked the question, three quarters of the dads said they had taken a week or less off and 96% of the fathers had taken less than two weeks off following the birth of their most recent child. By contrast, uh, many of their wives had taken three, four, or more months off to be at home with the children. When this happens, I think that casts women immediately in the role as the primary caregiver and the father as sort of a secondary actor in the play. In terms of ongoing care for the children, one of the things we asked the dads was, how do you think caregiving should be divided between you and your spouse? Over 65% of the fathers said that they thought caregiving for the children should be divided equally between they and their spouse. But when we asked the question, how is caregiving divided today between you and your spouse, 30% of the fathers said the caregiving was divided equally, and 70% said their spouse gave provided more care than they did. So clearly there was a, a disconnect between what the fathers aspired to do in terms of caregiving on an ongoing basis and what they were actually doing. One of the things that prompted us to do this study was a finding that had come out in the National Study of the Change of Workforce that suggested that uh, fathers experienced more work-family conflict than mothers did. And we found that obviously to be um, curious and something that we wanted to dig into more deeply. Uh, as we reflected on that and as we've explored the experience of working fathers, we asked ourselves what might be the reasons for this. One reason we felt is that because a lot of fathers work longer hours than their wives do, and so therefore they have less time at home with the children and maybe feel more conflicted than that. A second reason is that many fathers don't have role models that they can point to. Many of their moms were stay-at-home moms, and so their fathers were relegated more to a breadwinning role. The third reason, and maybe the one that may be most problematic, is that most organizations still have a, a paradigm that father equals breadwinner. And so therefore, they believe when a man has a child, the likelihood is that they will only redouble their efforts in terms of their career and won't have significant caregiving responsibilities. One of the things we asked the fathers to do was to rate uh, what they valued most in their positions. Perhaps as a result of the times that we live in, uh, the number one thing that fathers valued most in their position was job security. And another thing that we found somewhat surprising was workplace flexibility was valued even more highly than career advancement or high earnings. The attitudes of the manager, the attitudes of their work colleagues, and uh, the workplace policies that supported work and family were three things that we summed up to, um, to equate to a supportive workplace. One of the things we found clearly was that dads who worked in supportive workplaces had greater levels of work-family alignment, which is probably not surprising. But we also found they had greater levels of job satisfaction and a much lower likelihood that they were going to leave uh, their current employer. If organizations really want to help uh, support their working dads, I think there's two things that were clear to us from the study. The first is to provide a more flexible workplace. Just like their female counterparts, dads really appreciate the opportunity to work flexibly and that helps them balance work and family responsibilities. The second thing is to really get a more up-to-date picture of what the life experience is of working dads these days uh, and understand that fathers carry significant caregiver responsibilities and balancing that is, is, is just as important for men as it is for women.